in three two and one a bright blue cooker and a lime green fridge which is very questionable hello everyone and welcome back to another video last time we built a house with the inverted color filter on today we are going to be building a house with the grayscale filter and this is basically black and white it was really frustrating looking at those like weird colors with the inverted silver <clears throat> it was really frustrating looking at those weird colors with the inverted filter on so let's see if this is going to be any better so i thought it was going to be really fun to build the house in like a victorian style which is something i've never actually done before i tend to build it more of like a modern style but since we're going black and white victorian kind of makes sense so i thought that would be really fun so let's go ahead and let's actually turn on the color filter one thing i do notice it's not as you know eye scarring as this this was really really like hurting my eyes but this is a bit more calm you know it's a bit more subtle but anyways i'm going to make the floor plan and i will catch you guys when i am done so besties this is how far i've gone with the floor plan it's a very complicated floor plan it has a bunch of diagonal walls which i'm kind of with i don't know what's going on here like what is this room i do not know but it's there it's there either way and upstairs is kind of like this vibe and i'm strangely comfortable with the black and white filter on it's actually strangely comforting and i'm trying to figure out the roofing situation which is kind of like this vibe but then i wanted like um roof to cover like the porch area and then i remembered how deranged roofing is in the sims 4 and now we have this which is just a bunch of like these roofs and i've kind of formed this kind of vibe because we don't have like half octagonal walls like does that make sense it's supposed to have that kind of vibe and it's strangely kind of looks good like if you take a step back it kind of looks good so so i'm just gonna finish up the roofing and i will catch you guys when i'm done okay and this is the finished pro like these trees are getting on my damn nerves this is the finish like floor plan with the roofing done and i've actually never done a build that looks good as this in my life so i'm actually really proud of myself so first of all let's start off with the exterior walls so i'm thinking more of like a brick with like paneling on the upper level let's go in for like maybe a vampire's brick but i really love like these rustic bricks from dine out i think they look really good but i also really want to go for like a more refined look so i'm thinking that these are actually my best bet but i don't know what color that is so i'm just gonna slap one on and then for our like upper area we're gonna use like a paneling which i don't know what color any of these are so again i'm just gonna slap these on because hopefully that's white hopefully but i'm also thinking we go for that i'm gonna go for this and i just forgot that we don't actually have diagonal staircases in the sims so i can't use that i'm gonna have to put it like around this side <clears throat> oh for f sake for f sake so i'm just gonna have to put it over on this side or oh, i can reduce the foundation so they can just like get up there no that's ugly i think they should be able to get there then for our foundation i'm gonna go for this vibe and hopefully it comes out in the right color so maybe i just go for the white so this is the general vibe of the build i'm just gonna go finish it up and i will catch you guys when i am done and we can do the final reveal and take off the color filter
it is done the deed is done let me tell you it was really stressful not knowing what i was putting down i was also asking myself what is in a victorian home because like i literally don't know didn't know what to put down i was asking myself what is in a victorian living room and i just like decided on putting like a thousand paintings and then the kitchen is like really bare but i actually really like it like most of all i like the floor plan i like the exterior the exterior is my favorite part and there we go a house in black and white a victorian house in black and white and now it's time for the grand reveal now it's time for the part where we turn off the color filters and see just how mismatched everything is in three two and one. Oh my gosh it feels so weird seeing colors now they seem like really bright but that's actually how the whole thing has always been and let's take it off the outside is definitely way less terrible than the last one we did the inverted color challenge and i'm actually really loving this style but it's actually looking very nice and this thing glitches when i go closer it like does that and when i go far away it does that but don't mind that overall the exterior looks really really good like i'm actually shocked that i built this like what do you mean this is definitely not my build this is a little simsy's build like delhi did you build this james turner did you like help me build this because like i don't even think i built this anymore like i spent almost like this took two days okay i'm actually really shocked at how i did the landscaping the landscaping looks good it's not professional it's not like really good looking but good it actually looks kind of good and even though i did this in black and white the colors look kind of matchy like i love the fact that i chose the brick the brick looks really nice and it matches well with this i'm just gonna shade the lighting real quick and even in the afternoon light it looks really really good don't worry about that the chimney actually has i don't know it's i think it's a lighting issue but the chimney is brick it is brick so just forget about that so let's just head right in so we have this beautiful outside seating area which is actually really gorgeous like look at that like i'm actually surprised that i did that like i did this so you know <laughs> kudos to me g because i'm actually this that is green which um i'm not sure i would do that if i had color on but then we have this beautiful stranger veil which i'm not sure is actually victorian style i just like picked anything that had like curls and curves on it hence why we have these vampire doors which are just extra with gold and everything i just thought that if it's extra it has to be victorian you know as i said i didn't know what to put in a victorian home and you can see that I definitely didn't do this with colors because we have green over there, we have red over there, and we have purple, and then the curtains are blue. So normally you would have a TV in there and it would like kind of fill up the space. So there was a lot of blank space and I just like put paintings everywhere because that's what Victorians do, don't they? They like put paintings of people everywhere, portraits of people. Also statues of Princess Cordelia, you know, so that's what I've done. And if you go here, we have a dining room. They always have these swords on the wall. So like, you know, I put some swords in and this dining room, I'm not sure how I feel about the gray chairs. And I put in a bar because one thing the Victorians love, they love themselves some mead. They love themselves some ale. So I put in a bar and more of the candles and it's basically very bare because at a point it got really annoying and I couldn't like decorate because I didn't know what I was putting down. And we have a very blue bathroom <laughs> with the black mirror which i just picked because it had really like curly stuff and i was like yeah that's victorian we have the red towel and everything is just mismatched it's terrible it's terrible i if we had the right swatches it wouldn't be that bad but it's actually really terrible right now so let, let's go away from that because that is embarrassing and let's go into the kitchen <laughs> oh my god a bright blue cooker and a lime green fridge which is very questionable we have a garage which is very empty because why should i build a functional garage if the sims 4 doesn't want to give us functional cars i see no point to it so it is just an empty room and we have like a little tea area as i said the victorians love their alcohol so you know we have this little tiny bar thing and then we have this terribly mismatched chair and table it's green and then the table's black and we have blue curtains and that's yellow so you know that is more modern but like i couldn't really care because at the end when i was like decorating the house i was just like plopping things anywhere 
upstairs we have a mismatched rail with a mismatched fence you know love that for us but we have this cute little chandelier and we also have a grandfather clock and then we have the master bedroom which i really really love like i'm actually going to take a screenshot of that because that looks actually really good if we fix up like the colors like that's red and we have a bunch of blue we also have whites and we have browns and we have like dark browns so there's definitely a lot of mismatch and i used that dresser to like hide the roof because it was coming in for some reason and then we have the bathroom which you can't really see but this is the situation it's kind of cramped kind of weird this room over here which is kind of like a child's room hence why they have the large victorian dollhouse they have that like old looking chest for their toys and her desk which also has the red chair and the bed has like this gray wood but the side table has like this red wood and everything else is like a dark wood so you can definitely tell i did this with black and white on then we have a bathroom which is just kind of better we have pink tiles over there with black so it's still very very much mismatched and then last of all we have this room we have that which kind of matches with the dresser and i just put in a painting and that's literally it so that's the build that's what i could do with black and white filter on i definitely love the interior i would say this is definitely better than where we did the inverted build challenge and i actually really love this victorian style and i'm just going to take like a thousand pictures i'm actually going to like change the swatches so it actually looks like a good build and then i'm going to be posting it on the gallery so check out for that my gallery id is michael a sims so you can check that out when it's posted on the gallery if you enjoy build videos, I'm not much of a builder, but I do have a playlist filled with build videos up on my channel so you can check it out. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe. And while you're in the clicking mode, consider following my socials on screen or in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Good damn bye.